In today's video, we'll show you how to use WebP images with WordPress, even though it's not supported by default. Like using SVG files with WordPress, there's an easy workaround using a plugin. Of the services that we've tried, our favorite is Optimal. We've had the best luck with getting it to work with minimal tweaking and it's free. While it is possible to convert images to WebP on the fly using PHP, not every web host gives your server that permission. If yours does, you can look into the WebP Express plugin. You get a lot of control with it, but it's one that requires more tweaking to get working smoothly. Anyways, back to Optimal. Go ahead and install and activate it on your WordPress website. Once completed, you'll be redirected to the Optimal tab, which is under Media. Before you can access any settings or configurations, you need to have an Optimal account, so let's go ahead and create one. Simply insert your email address and click Register. The basic account for an API key is free and you get roughly 5,000 visits on that tier. If you need more than that, there are pricing tiers available, but just so you know, Optimal's visits only count each user once. So if you have 5,000 views on your website, it doesn't matter. Only 5,000 unique users will matter. You'll receive an email with your API token issued, but I'm actually gonna go and sign into the Optimal dashboard. In the email, they will provide you with a password for your account. Now that we're signed in, I'm gonna go ahead and copy my API key here at the top, go back over to my WordPress website and enter it in, click connect to Optimal service. At this point, it's gonna check for possible conflicts and connect our website to their servers. And just like that, we can now see that image optimization is currently running. It's worth noting, we do have to give it a little bit of time to completely optimize all of our images, and this will vary based on the size of your media library. If you're using another image compression and delivery plugin, it's worth noting that you may have some issues. For instance, Jetpack plugin works in a similar way to Optimal, so sometimes they can actually bump heads and in result, no image will be displayed. Although we can say we've had no issues using other compression services like TinyPNG or Smush. Luckily though, Optimal will alert you if there are possible issues and they do that at a tab at the very top of the page called possible issues. Now currently I don't have it on my site because there are no issues, but here's a screenshot of how that would look. If this tab is highlighted, then you need to check it out because there may be some conflicts with your website. Additionally, if you want more detailed information on how your site is doing with WebP, the external Optimal dashboard has that info for you. It is worth noting that this dashboard is very similar to the WordPress dashboard, and essentially you can do the same things on both. It depends entirely on what you're most comfortable with, as well as what level of data you need to be given at any time. For instance, the actual Optimal dashboard goes pretty deep on all of the information you need regarding your website. Whereas quickly changing a setting on your WordPress dashboard may just be a little bit easier and faster. An interesting feature in the Optimal dashboard is the ability to actually add a watermark that's automatically added on. It's a simple process and it's pretty nice if it's something you're looking for. Oddly enough, on their actual dashboard, I don't see any further settings, but here on the WordPress dashboard, I can actually choose if I want it to be active, what the opacity should be, position, offset, and even scale. Be sure to check out all of the other settings available, like compression, so that you could really dial settings in to exactly what you would like them to be. For instance, exclusions can be a very important setting. Maybe you have a certain file that you do not want to be optimized. If that's the case, simply add a filter. Keep in mind, although we're showing you Optimal, there are more options out there. Whether you use the EWWW image optimizer or imagekit.io, or even if you get yourself set up with WebP Express, there are a lot of options and you should definitely try them all out. With that said though, you now know one way to get WebP images served on your site. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.